right, so we're at a customer's house. Um, actually, I was out here a couple weeks ago. He, uh, his UV light quit working. He just wanted me to replace the bulb. Unfortunately, that bulb is no longer available. So what we're going to do is install a new UV light system uh, to replace his old one, one that's got bulbs available and things like that. Should be a really quick, easy job. I mean, probably in and out in under 10 minutes. It's literally a couple of screws and two wire nuts. We'll get them back up and running really quick and the UV light will go to work. That's uh, it. So what we're doing, we're just replacing a UV light today. Um, couldn't find a replacement bulb for this one, so we just got a new, uh, whole new light fixture put in there. They're they're relatively inexpensive. They're easy to replace. So what we're gonna do? We're just start out by removing this one. We've already got the power disconnected to it. That way, uh, there's no issues with the light hitting me. That's the old bulb. As you can see, it's burnt out pretty good. Set it out of the way here. It's got a magnet just for mounting it easily. We're gonna mount it inside. Uh, just put the magnet right up there and mount it that way. Now be careful not to touch the bulb with your fingers. So what a UV light is for is uh, the, the ultraviolet light is what it is. It's, it's uh, really good at killing germs and odors, uh, disinfecting things. A lot of people, especially with the coronavirus going on now, are really concerned about that kind of stuff. Uh, this will definitely help uh, kill any, any, anything in the air that's, you know, potentially can make you sick. Uh, it also help get smells out of your house if you ever fried bacon come back three hours later and you still smell bacon a UV light depending on the type will definitely help with getting that bacon or fish smell out of your house uh, it's all about your your wants and needs but uh, they're a good product simply take and plug that in slide the little glue down over top of it Got it mounted. So then we'll just cover this back up and make our connections. All right, so we'll just take and make these connections now. This is just 24 volts. 
nothing to be concerned about unless you're standing in water then it hurts a little and we'll check and see yep it came on so now what I'm gonna do is take and put a little tape As you can see, we got a little blue light going on here. That's it.